Hi YouTube family, welcome into today's video. We are going to be doing disappointing products. These are products that I have bought, I don't like, and if you guys do like them, please just take this with a grain of salt. What works for one person might not work for another person. So let me know in the comment section below if something does work for you. I would love to hear that. Or if you've had a disappointing product or two yourself just recently, I'd love to hear that too. So let's get right into the video so that you can see what I was not liking. First of all, I'm going to tell you that I am an IT Cosmetic CC Cream fanatic. I have it in all three finishes now, illuminating matte and regular or original, and I just love them. I absolutely love them. However, I tried the Bye Bye Foundation one, the new one, don't care for it that much. I don't know if I just am not making it work right, but the CC cream goes on so flawlessly with me, so easily with me, covers all of my sins, and helps me to have a really beautiful complexion. This one, I it just fell short. I felt like it was melting on me, and I felt like it didn't cover what I needed, to, needed it to do. And so it possibly could be just my personal preference as far as that I like a more full coverage foundation, um, I don't really like a heavy foundation. I just like more coverage because I have so many flaws across my face. So maybe that's what it was with this, but it just didn't work for me and I can't recommend it to you guys because of that. Okay, now Maybelline was trying to dupe the CC cream of IT Cosmetics and they have this Dream Urban Cover Foundation and it has the SPF in it and all of that. You guys, this is, it's so fell short for me. I know that a lot of people have loved this. They're saying that it's a great foundation for them, but unfortunately for me, this is not anything like the original product, the original CC cream. First of all, this did not cover. It felt greasy on my skin when it went on my skin right off the bat. It felt like some of those SPFs do that do have a little bit of greasy formula to them. That's what it felt like. And I don't like that feeling on my skin because if you're gonna put other makeup on, then you end up looking a little cakey throughout the day, that kind of thing. So this really fell short for me. Now, this product right here is from Color Science and I was really excited they gifted this to me. Color Science gave it to me um, through Octoly. We get those through Octoly. Anyway, you guys know the drill on that. But I was really excited about this because this is a mineral SPF and it's a 50, which I'm like, yay. So you can put this on, you know, throughout the day, dust it across your face. Great concept, right? I can't get the sucker to get any of the product out and whether or not I'm like being obtuse, I don't know. Could be, but I cannot get that thing. I mean, I can open it up, open the silly little brush up and see that there's product way, way down in there. But no matter how many times I shake this, no matter how many times I keep trying to use it, I can't get that product to come out of that dispenser. I had one of these from Derma E and it was great. I mean, the product came out right away. You did a little dusting, go on your way. So I couldn't tell you whether or not this is a good product. I guess I could try and, you know, bust off this end, break off the end, whatever I need to do and use the product itself, but isn't that self-defeating? What I wanted was something I could throw in my purse and reapply during, out, during the day and have that extra protection because you're supposed to reapply your sunscreens. Didn't work so much for me, so little bit disappointed in that. I did put this face base from Bobbi Brown in one of my very recent videos, but I thought that I would go ahead and include it in this anyway. This was recommended by Tati and Emily Noel, and I was very intrigued because, you know, I do have dry skin in the winter and that's when I bought it. So I was going to go ahead and use this as a primer. However, face base is kind of a bit misleading with this product. So it's more of a moisturizing product, but I didn't find that I enjoyed the moisturizer in it anyway, because I did feel like it balled up um, with my makeup. It's one of those ones that in theory, it sounds really good because it's supposed to be a hydrating primer. So yeah, okay, I'm good with that. But it just, it fell way short for me. So I, I had to pass on that. Now, this is a dirty sponge. Yes, nobody yell at me, but yes, this is a dirty sponge because I'm not going to keep it. It's gonna go in the trash. This is a microfiber sponge. I don't like microfiber sponges, apparently. I just could not get it to apply my makeup the way that I like. I, I didn't feel like it soaked in a lot of product or anything like that. It wasn't anything like that. But when I was using it, I just felt like it 
kind of pushed product around instead of helping me to create that smooth canvas that I get with a beauty sponge. So even though I've heard a lot of people like this, it just didn't work for me. But again, these are just personal opinions. If some of this stuff works for you, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to attack any brand or anything like that. Okay, from Jouer. I was so excited to try their lip toppers and during the holidays I did get their little um, six pack of these little teeny minis and yes they are teeny tiny minis and the six pack is a lot of money I feel like but what I don't like about these is I feel grit on my lips I can't stand that that feeling when you have um, you know something on your lips and your lips just feel like they're they've got like 10 days worth of skin on there that you need to exfoliate that's what these feel like. I can't do that. I wish that it didn't, but every single one of them that I tried, I had, a, I think there was six. Did I say that? Anyway, there were every one of them, they just fell very short for me. All okay. right, I got a little Hourglass Caution Mascara. Um, this is supposed to be Extreme Lash Mascara. Okay, you guys, I am so disappointed because there are so many influencers talking about how this builds for them and how good it is for them. I don't see it, you guys. It's just not a mascara that really did a lot for my lashes. It was very hard to build up. I didn't feel like it lasted any longer than any other mascara. It flaked, you know, a few hours in when it was dried down. Of course, I do live in a very dry climate, so I do have to be very careful with that. So this was a, a fail for me. It was just one that I can't get on board and recommend for you guys at all. All right, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum Oil-Free Silicone-Free Primer. Okay, let me tell you about this. If you are one that doesn't like the silicone-y feel of primers, um, and when I, when I say that, almost everybody, when you feel a primer, you can feel that slip between your fingers. What that is, is that's that silicone product. Really slippery, really slick. Not tacky, anything like that, just slick. And what that does, as you push it into your pores, that actually will go into your pores and make a smoother canvas um, for you to put your makeup on. Now, if you don't like that, if you, you know, you're not one that really enjoys that, this might be for you because it has a pretty good grip property to it. But for me, because it had absolutely no silicone in it and I, I do have pores that I want to hide, it really didn't work for me. All right, from ColourPop, this is their mascara. I was so excited when I found this out, but I'm gonna just show you, and hopefully the camera's going to show you exactly what I'm talking about without me shaking to death. You guys, when you use this, this becomes such a goopy mess. I mean, even right there on the end of the tube, there's a big glob that came out. This, it doesn't build for me. It doesn't give me length. I can't get the kind of volume I want out of it. I spend all of my time trying to figure out whether or not I've got clumps from it. So I just, this is not a good mascara for me. That one's actually gonna go in the trash. Um, this one is from CoverGirl, and this is the Clump Crusher Extensions. Again, I don't know why this is called Extensions. I don't know why it's called Clump Crusher. I don't know what happened when they changed these tubes around, when, when CoverGirl revamped everything, but the wand is slightly curved. Um, it just doesn't build. It just doesn't give volume that I need. It just it just doesn't pay off any of the, you know, click off any of the boxes that I want for a mascara. So unfortunately, this one too is one that I will not recommend for any of you. And a very high-end mascara that came to me in PR is from Wander Beauty. At first, I really enjoyed this. I was really excited about it. But you guys, when a mascara comes in a tube like this, what immediately is going to happen is that is going to introduce air in there because that tube is kind of like a squeezy tube and the air is gonna just go back in there. It's just gonna, I mean, that happens on a regular mascara tube anyway, but I found this more so. And then the other thing that I found is that it flaked like crazy, really quickly flaked like crazy. So this is one that I would say steer clear of, stay with your drugstore. This one is really expensive too. I do like, a lot of the Wonder Beauty products that they sent me, but this is one that fell very, very short. Also from Catrice, there is the Glam and Doll Lash um, Primer, excuse me. And this one I was comparing to the Essence one, which I like very much. 
I don't like this. I think that what they were trying to do with this, if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be like a conditioning product along with the volumizer primer part. It just felt like it was too heavy. And then it didn't like give any volume or any length or anything like that. I couldn't work this in enough to be able to have that volume. So this one is one that I would also say steer clear of. Another product that I got from DCM. DCM is the company that distributes the ordinary. These are the Hylamide products. I really like the Hylamide products. However, this one is called Glow Booster or Glow Radiance and Booster, something like that. So this was supposed to be a self tanning product without having that specific ingredient, which I forget. I'll try to remember and throw it up on the screen, but that specific ingredients that, that you put on your skin and then it's supposed to turn your skin. This is supposed to be like raspberry something in it in a, you know, all natural product in it, but it didn't work. I wanted it to work because I thought what a great idea to have a different, you know, product to put on your face that is in a serum form that is really light, really airy, but it just didn't work for me. And I have to tell you to pass on that one. Okay, you guys, we're getting close. The L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Waterproof Concealer. This is at first when you put it on, it's a great concealer. It covers very well and it is a waterproof um, concealer. However, it needed built up and once I did build it up just a little bit, then it became very cakey and very dry. And I believe that's because of the waterproof property that's in here. It just was one that over the day, I mean, I never even set it with any powders or anything like that because I have a hard time with that with any of my concealers anymore. I don't really set them. But with this one, it really became like just dried out and really you could see all of my lines and my wrinkles. So for the, for me, this one just didn't work out at all. It was just way too dry. And then this Pacific this is a glow powder from them and it is in a really really nice delivery system I love the way that they put this it does have where it closes up so you don't get any mess into the lid and then it has the dispenser with the little sifter in there and I really do appreciate this delivery system fantastic even the packaging was really pretty you know had a little bit of embossing gold or not embossing but gold um, print on here just thought it was a really nice packaging really nice delivery system but the product itself fell short and for me it was because it was so drying and it did have that pretty glow to it that pretty little bit of luminescence but this is super duper drying you guys and I can't use it at all so it's one that is definitely disappointing that's it. That's all of them. I hope that you did enjoy disappointing products. If you guys do enjoy them, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that. And let me know down in the comment section below too. That's everything. You guys have an amazing, wonderful day. I will see you all in my next video and I love you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.